welcome to today's video. You've probably seen me at this garden before. Today's visit was slightly different because I needed to cut and trim some of these shrubs that the client has got in the garden. But first off, I start with strimming all the lawns. So I start off with the front and then I move on to the back lawn. You'll probably notice here that the garden drops down quite a bit. It was level at one point, so where you see that circular border, it was all that one level. Um, but I have explained in a previous video why the garden is, how why it looks the way it does. So definitely go check that out. I'll link it up either in the top corner or it'll be down in the description. So if you are curious and you'd like to know why this part looks like it does, then definitely go check that out. Now that both lawns are all trimmed, I decide to trim the shrubs that need trimming. Um, I do it before I cut the grass because I can then leaf blow all the clippings onto the lawns and then pick them up with my mower. I just wanted to nip on here and just say that I'm sorry that I've not uploaded in a while. Basically what's happened is, well since this video has been filmed, We've had a lot of rain and we have not really had a dry day or a day where it hasn't rained. So all my gardening basically means that whenever it's dry I'm, I'm out working. And then when I get in from work I'm you know, taking bills out for a walk and making sure she's alright. So it kind of eats into all the time that it takes to, for me to edit videos. And so at the minute I'm just struggling with trying to fit it all in and get, and get editing done at the same time. So. I'm sorry again and I'm grateful that you know you bear with me and you're still around and yeah I just wanted to give you an update as to why why everything's a bit up in the air at the minute with me videos and uploads and stuff it's it's just because at the minute I'm trying to I'm trying to keep on top of all my gardening and because YouTube doesn't really you know it's not main source of income I have to prioritize my gardening work over YouTube at the minute so yeah sorry again and thanks again for all your support and you know sticking with me and bearing with me and um, i do try my best these are actually new hedge cutters that i brought specifically for this type of work rather than using the shears that you've probably seen me use in the past um, they obviously take me a lot longer to get the shrubs and things cut and also you know they hurt me back a bit and <laughs> I feel it in my arms and my wrists and that the day after so I just thought this year oh I'll, uh, I'll get some hedge cutters these are battery powered so they're very lightweight and um, basically all you do is just plug them into the charger and they charge up and they're actually they're really really good not they don't quite have a, a neat finish like the shears do but you know for how long it would take me to do these things with shears. They're, they're very handy and they're a lot quicker and like I say, very lightweight. I'll put down in the description what the hedge cutters are. But yeah, they do make cutting shrubs and things like this a lot easier. It, it definitely saves me a lot of time. that the lawns are trimmed and all the shrubs are cut. I get my leaf blower out and just leaf blow all the clippings and bits back onto the lawns so that I can then just pick it all up with the mower. Okay, so that's the streaming and all the shrubs um, trimmed. The streaming's been done and I've also leaf blown around. Now I'm just gonna get my mower out, cut the lawns, 
edge and then pick up. I've left this clip in just to, so you can see sort of behind the scenes of some lawns that I have to cut. It's a bit awkward trying to get my mower up onto the lawns, especially when I'm on my own, so I thought I'd leave this in. So you can see that I basically don't have a, always have an easy time I'm cutting lawns and doing gardens. And now it's time to mow both the lawns. So I start off with the front lawn, get that cut, and then as soon as that's done, I move on to the back and cut that one. You might notice with this front lawn that it's quite brown and patchy. Basically what happens is if we have a dry spell, so at this point we had, we'd had about four or five weeks where we didn't get any rain. And what happens with this front lawn is it basically burns off. And that's because there's very little soil underneath. When I put the spike in to attach Burley to, I go an inch deep and then I just hit rubble. So I don't know who previously lived here um, and if they had the, the front lawn landscape, but uh, they hadn't done a very good job. There's very little soil underneath, so if we get a little bit of dry weather, the lawn just burns off completely. Uh, it makes it look not very good, as you can see. But actually, I've been back to that job, so we're now in August, and I filmed this in June. And like I say before, I've had, we've had plenty of rain now, so all that is now greened over. Um, I have forgotten to take a photo to show you, but it's all come back now, so it doesn't look like it does here. Now that the lawns are cut, I get my edging shears out and basically edge all the lawns, give them a nice, neat finish. Now I'm on the final task of going through the borders. So I basically rate the soil, deadhead any flowers that need cutting, picking out any weeds and any bits of leaves or anything like that that are on the, in the soil. Here I'm cutting back an aubrecia. When they finish flowering or they look like they're dying back, just give them a good trim back. They'll grow back a lot healthier and have better flowers next year. A lot of these bedding plants that you see in this garden, I grew myself and planted them out. I'm going to put you on a bit of a time lapse now with some music playing over the top because the clients did come out and have a chat with me. last couple of borders that need tidying and once they're done I do go back over with the leaf blower just to give it a final tidy but I didn't film that it's basically what you saw me do earlier on in the video this job that day took me three hours three and a half hours to complete and I actually completed this job on a Sunday and it was my birthday so uh, I'm definitely dedicated to my craft <laughs> And this job was completed before I went on holiday, so I was literally working seven days a week just to try and get everything done before I went away, which is what I'm doing now. I work every other weekend and most Saturdays to get things done. 
so yeah anyway now it's how it looks after and yeah that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you for the next one bye